Hello everyone, welcome back to Scalar Academy YouTube channel. So in this tutorial, we will be talking about one of the famous uh, problem. Okay, so named 01 knapsack. So first we will be discussing how to approach that particular problem. Then we are uh, drawing recurrence relation and uh, we will be writing the recurrence code. Then we will be optimizing that recursive code using dynamic programming uh, memoization technique. So please watch this video till the end and if you are visiting channel for the first time please hit don't forget to subscribe if you like this video please hit that like button up and if you have any queries or if you have any video suggestion for us please let us know in the comment section so uh, there will be a thief okay thief and uh, he decides to rob one house okay rob one house do some robbery okay and we all know that whenever a thief going for a robbery he always carries one bag okay bag so we are calling this bag as a knapsack okay knapsack okay simply and a uh, bag is a knapsack and we all know that uh, it has some capacity okay bag will have some capacity okay um and yeah now let's come to this house uh, like uh, items right so let's say a laptop a mobile phone a fridge and uh, let's say tv okay so yeah it works now if there are some items we all know that it will have some weight as well like right? weight so let's say a TV has a weight of uh, a laptop has a weight of uh, 3 kgs okay so mobile phone 1 kg fridge at 10 kgs a TV 5 kgs okay and so let's say let's assume a thief has uh, stolen these particular items and he has to uh, sell it okay he will sell somewhere okay and after selling he will get some profit okay he will get some money for that particular item right so we will give when that amount as well let's say so if you sell this laptop you will get um let's say 100 rupees okay and if you sell this mobile you will get 20 rupees and if you sell this fridge you will get a uh, 500 and if you sell this particular a uh, tv you will get a uh, 50 rupees okay and uh and so these are all the uh, inputs you will be given okay so you will be given weights okay weights of items and a profits of items and a capacity of knapsack means capacity of a bag let's say here let's stick to okay so here you will be given three inputs one is a weight profit and capacity of a knapsack now now you need to figure out the maximum profit that you can products okay so let's say now you have decided to rob okay so now your capacity is a 14 just think just think try to answer uh, if you uh, what are all the products if you get like if you still uh, rob okay you will get some maximum profit okay so let's say if you rob this uh, a TV okay if you rob a TV and mobile phone okay your weight will become of uh, four okay still you have a 10 left in your capacity and you decided to rob this 5 kg one okay now tell me what is the your uh, profit so far so 100 20 50 so it will be uh, 170 okay so if you sell these guys like if you stole this 3 kg wala, 1 kg one and 5 kg one you will get 170 profit now oh, is that the maximum no <laughs> no right so now what is the maximum okay so let's say if you have pick up these at 10 kg wala, okay and still you will be left with 4 kgs okay and of course you can't uh, this 5 kg one will won't fit in your bag because you have only 4 capacity and you decided to rob this 3 kg wala 
then you will get a uh, hundred profit okay so 500 100 and then still you have one kg pack capacity in your knapsack so you will decide to uh, get this one kg one so you will get a profit of 20 so in total you will get one six uh, six twenty rupees okay if you rob this particular horse so this is what you wanted to do okay and you i know you might have one doubt okay so yeah so let's say so if you are in an interview you have to ask this question so let's say so in first thing okay you have a rob this two and this one okay uh, and total weight you have consumed nine kgs and you got a profit of 170 still still five kg was a left in your bag right so can i say can i say i will rob okay so there's a fridge now so which is a uh, capacity of 10 kgs so i will cut it off so that i can get it for 5 kgs and i will rob that so i will take that so that i can make 250 wall profit yeah no right so you can't do that okay you can't do that right so yeah that is also not valid in this case so you have to either pick up that whole item if you have that much capacity in your bag otherwise you should not pick up that item that's it so that's why it is called as in zero one knapsack so zero means you should you should not pick up that guy like item one means you can pick up that whole item that's it okay and there is another problem okay which allows you to uh, cut break that uh, particular item and you can carry that so that is called as a fractional knapsack okay so there is a separate problem for that so after so finishing this problem please go ahead and um, try out try to complete that particular problem as well that is that is easy okay little man okay, if you have solved this problem okay so now pause the video for a while and think about this solution yeah so let's first discuss what can happen like what are all the things i can do okay so uh, let's say i have uh, here so i will pick up one small example okay so let's say uh, my weights my weights are uh, one two and five okay and i have a uh, profits which has a 10 20 a 30 and i have a uh, weight of okay weight of or capacity which allows me for uh, 6 okay which allows me for 6 kg weight now you have to figure out what will be the answer for this particular input it is it is 40 is 40 okay so let's try to uh, break this problem down okay so first we'll try to solve this using a recursion okay then we'll go to the dynamic programming okay so first recursion so again i am following top down approach here means a uh, first i will be starting with recursion then i will be doing converting into memoization technique okay so i will be starting from the last okay the indexes would be two one zero okay for simplicity i am assuming i have in a function called a knapsack okay and i have uh, uh, started from the end so index would be two and i am passing my weight as 6 okay now tell me now tell me what are all the things i can have here what are all the things i can have here so can i say can i say so let's say uh, my weight is 6 which i am looking for and currently i am standing at 5 so can i take that particular item into my bag yes yes right so i have a capacity of six and uh, if i now i am standing at one item 
if I pick up that at particular item, it will consume five uh, five kgs like five capacity in my bag. Okay, and still I will uh, left with one kg. So I'm good with that. Okay, so I will take that guy. Knapsack off. Uh, so here uh, you can you are permitted to uh, take uh, that particular item only once okay so in house there will be only one item na? okay there will be having only one fridge one tv one laptop one mobile like mobile phones can be multiple okay so uh, so if you pick up this particular guy okay so if you have pick up this particular uh, five wala, then you have to consider the profit of that guy okay you have to add that particular profit so you will say 30 plus and you since you have pick up second guy you have to go to our next guy so which is a one and what is the amount of weight you are left with now it's an it's an one right so initially you have a six now you have a or you have taken five and you have left with one so now this is what if i take that thing if i take that so if i wish not to take that item though it is sufficient in my bag i wish not to take up that guy okay now what happens so knapsack off uh, i have to move to next guy next item and my uh, weight remains same yes my weight remains same now what we need to do now let's go and solve this particular sub problem again so let's say again uh, you are solving for one and one so you are currently standing at a weight two and but your capacity is only one now tell me what are all the choices you have now so can you take up that or can you take that particular item into your bag no because you have only one kg left in your bag but if you take this particular item it it requires two kgs so it is not allowed so you are left with only one option that is called not take that particular guy so here we will say simply go to a next item so 0 comma 1 okay, without any uh, without touching your capacity of bag now so again now i will go here my index is 0 so uh, the zeroth index is 1 right so 1 1 now the weight uh, the weight you are looking for is one and the weight which you are currently if you pick up that guy is one okay it's allowable okay so what you will do you will say what is the weight uh, profit so 10 plus knapsack of minus one like we have to decrease that minus one and it will become zero and this is what if you take that guy if you should not like if you decided to not take up that guy it will become minus one comma one right now tell me now tell me minus one so index or uh, you have to come till zero but you have seen minus one so you will simply return a larger value or smaller value you have to return a smaller value because we are looking for maximum output okay so you have to return a minimum value okay which might be uh, like any negative value or int min okay int min or if your problem statement uh, stated like so if you are not pick up any like if you are not allowed to pick up any guy okay let's say uh, where you will be having case uh, your capacity is uh, capacity is 10 and the items all you have are a greater than 10 capacity let's say 11 okay greater than 10 then you can't pick up any item then your answer should be equal to 0 so if this is the case then you can simply return 0 as well okay so here you will return a 0 okay so 0 plus 1 it's a 10 and here you have again seen a minus 1 so it is not allowable so you will return a 0 so now since you are looking for maximum output you have to compare this thing you have to take the maximum value so it will return 10 okay so 30 plus 10 it's a 40 
so 40 from a right side okay 40 from right side now so now yeah okay so you are currently standing at first index and you you want i uh, means you are currently standing at sec uh, 2 kg wala and you you are uh, looking for 6 kg capacity okay you have 6 kg cap capacity in your bag so what you can do so again 2 is less than 6 so now you will be having two choices one is knapsack of okay you can pick up that guy so if you pick up that guy your index will move to zero and your um, so it's uh, currently standing two so it will become four and you have considered 20 weight so profit so 20 plus this one okay and if you decided to not pick up this guy then what it will become zero comma six yes i hope you, if you have understood till now then you can solve problem on your own okay now let me finish this recurrence tree then we'll go and try to code this up okay now you are currently uh, at a zeroth index means one and you are looking for four capacity okay and one is less than four so you can pick up that guy or you can't pick up that guy so let's say if you, you decided to pick up that guy so 10 plus knapsack of then it will become uh, minus one and a three and if you have not decided to not pick up that guy then it will become knapsack of minus one and four itself okay now so minus one it it will return zero so 10 plus zero it's a 10 it will return 10 here now it will return again zero so 10 is maximum so 20 plus 10 it's a 30 and again so you have to solve your left sub or right side sub problem okay so again you are currently standing at zero and you are uh, looking for the capacity of six okay so one is less than six so you can say you can pick up that guy if you pick up that guy it will become 10 plus a uh, knapsack of minus one and five okay if you have decided to not pick up that you have decided to not pick up that then it will become knapsack of minus one and six so minus one so it will return zero again it will return zero from here zero then uh, 10 plus zero it's a 10 and max of this thing is 10 so 30 and 10 so maximum is 30 so it will return 30 here and maximum of right and left was 40 and 30 so max of 30 and 40 was 40 so your answer was 40 okay so is that what we are looking for yes so now let me quickly give a glance like summary of what i did so far okay so i'm assuming i have a function called a knapsack okay where i will be taking my index and a weight and a profits and a weights okay now now first we need to write the base cases what are our base cases so first thing if my index less than if my index becomes less than zero what i need to do i need to return zero now or my weight became a zero my weight became zero yes right that happens right okay in that case as well i should uh, return a zero only so this is our base case now what is the first condition that we are checking for so the first condition we are checking for now the weight which you are currently standing is a greater than weight what we are looking for if this is the case so we are standing at uh, let's say we are standing at the weight of 5 kgs okay and we are looking uh, we are looking for the weight of 2 kgs now obviously it, we can't take that particular item right so you should simply return 
knapsack of index so you should simply move to next item and since you haven't picked up that guy you are not doing any subtraction here and you will simply pass uh, profits and weights as it is okay so if this is a false if this is a false means you can pick up that guy okay you have that choice okay you have that capacity in your bag so then you will have two choices one to take another one is to not to take not take so if you wish to take that guy what you are doing so you have to consider that profit of that particular index plus a knapsack of you have to go to next index then you have to now what you have to do for your capacity let's say you have a bag of 5 kg and you you decided to pick up one guy with the weight of 2 kgs now you have to subtract that weight right whatever you have taken so weight of index comma and so you have to consider profit and weights okay now if you decided to not to pick up that you don't need to add that profit you don't need to add that to your profit then you can simply call knapsack of index minus one you have to go to next one and you should not touch your weight okay profit and weights as well as it is then at the end you can simply return max of take comma not take that's it that's it is this what we have done so far yes yep so this is what we have done this and let's simply go and go this particular approach okay and i highly recommend you to code try out uh, try to code this on your own okay so there is nothing special so till now i have coded this so okay stop here is the problem statement given uh, this is interview bit platform okay so please do check out this and uh, if you wish to submit this problem please go ahead and submit so you can uh, simply just search for knapsack interview bit okay so the problem statement is given something like this you will be given two integer arrays a and b okay of size n okay which represents values and uh, weights so a represents values b represents weights okay associated with n items okay and also given an integer c which represents knapsack capacity means a weight of the bag okay so find out the maximum value subset of a such that sum of weights of this subset is smaller than or equal to c okay so this is what we have discussed and here you can see the note as well so you cannot break an item either pick the complete item or don't pick the so this is what a zero one property okay it's clearly mentioned that and yeah let's simply go and try to code this approach okay so um okay uh, let me figure out uh first a size of the uh, given array Go and change these names in the parameter side so that it, we won't get any confused. Okay, so at the end, I am returning my answer. So now, let's go and code our main function like knapsack function. So, int knapsack. So, first one is index, then it's a vector. So is uh, first one is values values means it's a profits right profits and second one is a uh, b stands for our uh, weights and a uh, capacity okay. 
is what we are getting as of now so first first base condition would be so if if our index became less than zero so you should not put index double equal to zero why you have to consider the last zeroth index as well right so it should have some weight and it will have some profit associated with that so we have to consider that zeroth index as well so don't do this mistake okay so you have to put index less than zero and you, you your capacity might become double equal to zero as well okay then you should return zero now oh, so done with the base case now we will be you have to check the current weight which you are standing at is greater than okay so if that is greater than if that is greater than what you are looking for then you should simply return like you should not consider that into your bag so you will say go to next item and you should not touch anything it's and okay so if this is not the case if this is not the case what you need to do okay either you can take that so if you decided to take that what you need to do you have to add that particular profit okay so profits of and you have you you have to add go to the next element and uh, you have to do the same task right so index minus one and a profit and a weight and a capacity now here comes the picture so we have considered that particular uh we have taken that current element now we have then you have to minus the that particular weight associated with that particular item so you should do index now if you wish not to take up that guy so you need not to add the profits you can simply go knapsack go to a next element and say profit and say weight and say capacity so at the end you should consider a max of a take comma This is what it looks like in the hierarchy. Let's go and test this out. Yeah, so up uh, success. So it got success. And if we wish to submit this, what happens? Compiling your code. Yeah, so it failed for some cases where our input is a too much okay so means that we need to optimize this particular approach so basically the constraints here were 10 power 3 and capacity was 10 power 3 okay and like so it's it's a recursive solution so it will be the come term the time complicity of this particular approach will be exponential okay exponential so we can't make it through this particular approach so we should uh, we should try out something optimizing this approach so whenever i say optimizing the recursive solution then one thing you have to remember dynamic programming so since we have uh, we have made a recursive solution so we can go and convert this particular recursive solutions into the dynamic programming solution using memoation so for memoation you need not to do anything okay so we should first figure out we should first figure out what are all the changing factors in your code okay so what are all the changing factors in your code i can see index is changing and capacity is changing yes capacity is changing now you have to you have to keep track of these candidates in your space okay so you have to build an a two dimensional vector okay where you can store all these values okay let's say dp of uh, it will be having n rows and how many how many columns so here comes the picture how many columns so let's say if we if here here if they have given a weight of 50 weight of 50 then you have to check out all the 
possibilities of weight which includes a 50 as well right so let's say and uh, like um, your capacity of bag capacity is 50 and you have to you can take the items which are equal to 50 right then you have to keep track of that in particular index as well so you have to mention here capital C plus 1 comma or you, you will be filling with with minus 1 initial okay so now wherever you are making function calls you have to pass this DP and whenever you are passing it in your arguments don't forget to put it in your uh, parameters as well and int int and it's a dp cool so here you are making a function call and here you are making a function call and here you are making a function okay. now now so these are all the three steps that we did so far to convert recursive code into memoization so initially we figure out the what are all changing factors and then we have created uh, a space for that particular changing factors then what i did so i have uh, i have added this into my parameters passing parameters and i have uh, included that in my function call so that is second step now third step is memoize them so we are returning your answer here right you are returning your uh, answer which uh, whatever you got till now so before doing that just store your answer in the current states like current indexes so let's say index and the capacity so without simply returning that to the user just store that into your space okay then return okay so here as well so rdp of index yeah. so you are storing the answer now you have to check okay before making a function call you have to just check whether you have already solved that particular problem or not with this uh, that uh, current states so what you need so dp of index of capacity not equal to minus one so if it is equal to minus one it's a new you have to solve that problem okay if it is not equal to minus one yeah we have to uh, like it means that you have already solved that particular problem and you can simply return that as well so return dp of int and capacity capacity okay so yeah it's very simple right so let's go and test this out thing, yeah it is passing for the sample cases now let's submit this solution yeah so correct answer yes i got some 192 points as well okay so please give it a shot okay go ahead and submit this particular uh, code in interview bit okay yes bye bye see you in the uh, next tutorial so before moving just don't forget to subscribe this particular channel and if you if you have watched the video so far please please like this video and comment let me know how you have feel uh, solving this particular problem in the comment section Bye-bye.